Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Waslin. This is J Mom Creations. Welcome. Today I will be sharing with you how I will be spruicing up my front yard, including my front porch. As you guys can see, I have a lot of plant into my garden um center part. So what I will be doing is uh, adding some mulch. I already have some of my mulch on the side of the house. I will be removing most of the trees that I have on the side and petting those bricks just to refresh things up. I feel like the front of the house is a little bit too busy with all these plants that I have in the circular driveway. Right here, right now, as you can see, there are lots of plants and like I said, it's a little bit too busy. So I'm going to remove most of the tall one and clean up and add on some mulch and then paint those bricks and i also will be painting those bricks on those circle in the side of the main road so let's go ahead and get started y'all it is going to be a lot of work painting those bricks but i have to get them done because i feel like it needs to get done so thank you so much guys for watching today's video if you are new thank you so much for clicking on my video and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know how i feel about you thank you so much for watching another video please subscribe if you haven't already if you are new and leave a comment i hope this video inspires you to get things done around your home so let's go ahead and get started y'all First, I'm going to remove all these and clean up and blow these up and pull out all these little plants from the ground and then add the mulch. So let's go ahead and get that and I'll show you what the mulch look like. I know I needed more mulch, um, bag of mulch. So this is how so far pulling the plants out. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is run to Lowe's or Home Depot to go get some mulch. But before the sun gets too hot, I'm going to paint the bricks first before the sun gets too hot because it's early in the morning and I needed to get it done before. You guys know we live in South Florida and it is hot. <laughs> this is not even funny or it is hot and humid. So let's go ahead and uh, paint um the bricks and then so i could see what it will look like so what i'm expecting it what i'm expecting for it to look like when it's all finished is to refreshen it up make it look like those bricks are new but a little bit aged since they are very old i found those bricks here when i purchased the home around the house so i will use them and some in the circle um flower bed those are new i bought them they're a little bit wider than those that were here into the retaining wall so that's why i'm painting them so what i'm going to do right now is paint those little bricks that goes around the side in the circle so that way it will look all of them will be cohesive so let's go ahead and get that done so so far i like the way the white you know bringing things out and the trees and all the other tall plants that are not there make it look more clean so let's go ahead and complete those little bricks let me finish going and paint them and then we will move to those circle um um beds which are here i have four of them around the um foot of the house um so let's go ahead and finish it up so we can see what they all looks like corrections no i have five um circle beds around the front of the house there's another one right there to the side so i'll be moving on to the retaining wall on that side and i'll be painting them as well as you see already see i already started painting them so it's a little bit taller so i will remove some of the bricks and make it a little shorter and these are all the way all of it turned out from the distance in the front of the street when you're looking at the front of the house it looks more clean i don't have that many trees and plants that are blocking the front driveway so now it looks more clean and all the whites 
that I paint the bricks, the retaining wall, and the circle flower bed. They all look the same. It not nothing looks too old than the other, and I love it. I love it. Very simple, very easy. I just have some leftover paint, and plus the mulch that I got from oh, Home Depot, and with that, it makes such a beautiful um driveway. It just clean it up, refreshing it for the fall season coming. So, guys. I love it. I really love it. It looks more clean. Let me know if you like the way it turned out. You know, it looks open. You can see the front of the house very clearly, very clean. Of course, I do need to buy more mulch because I feel like I need more. And uh, on the side, as you will see a little bit later, I ran out of paint. So I need to go and get me a little... Thing of paint to complete i'll show it to you when i get to it so yeah i love it yes guys wow it looks so pretty yes guys thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you for all the birthday wishes that i got from last week video i truly truly enjoy all the little comment all the wishes all the love and all the support on my 50th birthday thank you so much y'all for watching you guys know how i feel about you you guys make my heart beats every time you guys leave me little comments every time you guys give me some love show me some love thank you so much guys i truly appreciate each and every one of you look how beautiful from the front door looking at the street how beautiful this is the little part right here to the left that i ran out of paint as you guys can see that piece of wall right there is not completely finished but you can have you cannot see it while you're in the street you can only see it when you're standing in front of my door but i plan on doing that later sometime this week i'll stop at wall home depot i just didn't feel like it and it was becoming too hot y'all and i didn't want to go out and be back in the sun i was hot i'm telling you man it is not funny but anyway guys you guys know how i feel about y'all thank you so much for watching today's video thank you actually i appreciate each and every one of you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you very soon in the next one until next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Bye, y'all.